In this section, we'll be looking at the battery impedance for a 1D model. We'll look at how lithium ion battery interface can be solved in the frequency domain to predict impedance response in the lithium ion battery. Also, we'll look at least squares optimizations that can be used to automatically find simulation parameters that best fit experimental data. So we'll end up getting some results as shown in this slide. So I think we can get started now. And if there's any question during the course of this video, can you put your question down in the comment section and I'll do all to attend to them. So please let's get started. Thank you. So we start by going to a model with that we choose, which brings us to select our space dimension. So this will be dealing with 1D. We select 1D. Then we add our physics. We have to select our physics. So normally to choose lithium ion batteries, you have to select electrochemistry come to battery interface and choose between ion batteries. Then we add, then we move to our steady. So when we move to our steady, here we have to select the steady that you're going to do over here. So for our study today, we'll be dealing with an AC impedance with initial values. So this brings us to our work interface. As you can see over here. So we'll be loading our parameters from a file. We'll also load our variables from a file as well. So I'll show, I'll quickly take you guys through how to load the parameters and the vari variables from our file. So we come, we click on parameters as you can see over here, then you select load from file, which brings you to the files where we have the parameters over here. So you select the one battery impedance parameters, as you can see over here, impedance parameters. So we've actually loaded our files over here. You can see all the variables that we're using from our parameters, the value description and all that. So we see the thickness, negative electrode, thickness, positive electrode, thickness, separator, and many other things over here. As you can see, all these parameters of variables will be used for our model today. We go on to our definitions as well to add variables where we will load some file and we'll choose our impedance. We'll choose our impedance variables over here. So that one is 
impedance so as you can see over here our battery impedance variables we load all these so can we know that Comsol has detected some of these expressions as unknown since it's not defined them in if not if not yet defined some of these variables but as we go on all these unknown variables will be known will be defined and they will turn from this color to black color so I'd like us to quickly start building our geometry. We build it using a 1D, so we can add an interval. We build by adding intervals to it. So we add, we first build our negative side. So this is the length of the negative electrode. And we build selected. And as you can see, we built a uh, negative electrode, the geometry itself. So move on to add another interval for the second. We specify the coordinates as intervals, as you can see over here. And we define the left end. And we choose the length. It becomes that of the separator. Then we build. So as you can see, done that for the separator. So we continue this way to build the rest of our models. We add another interval. Choose interval length. Greater plus or positive. We build selected. This should be underscore. So we go ahead to add our materials where. We first choose our electrolytes. So we add this electrolyte. Double click to add. Afterwards, we add our two electrodes. Our negative electrode. Then we go on to add our positive electrode. As we've done over here. We close this material library. Just so we can see our model builder. Clearly. So we've been able to build our geometry, we've been able to add our materials, we've been able to add our parameters, we've been able to add our variables. So we go on to add a domain point proof.
where we defined here as our reference electrode, which is RE. So we want to define here as So since we've chosen half of the separator, it was actually indicated over here. Open here, and we see our probe, point probe expression. So we change the variable name, and we define it this way. So we want to make this small cups. It's a bit better. So if we should go to our variables, we see that all our variables are now defined. We can go ahead now and quickly and go to non coupling add integration. So we select a boundary to be at the end. For this. We choose go to lithium ion battery, right click, then we choose add a porous electrode. So we add our first porous electrode, but we select where it should be. We've selected that it should be at domain one, which is the negative electrode. Go to electrode properties as well. And the electrode material should be negative as we've indicated, clearly indicated. Move on down. To check the film resistance and we want it to be surface resistance. So we want to change the value of this film resistance to film resistance for the negative it has been defined in the variable. So we want to change the electrode volume to this. We want to change this to this. Electrolyte volume fraction as well. We want to check the electrolyte conductivity and make it user defined. We want to add a correction factor as well. And the diffusion, we want to make it user defined and also make it same as well. Same as we did for the correction for electrolyte conductivity. Dancing for the diffusion. We want to look at the particle intercalation. 
as well. Look at the particle material. We should automatically be, we have to set it for the negative electrode. Initial species concentration is set to set it this way and we set the particle mean center surface distance as 0.5 